Hey all, this is part two, and we're going to take a quick note about iterating over an object. So a lot of times students, when they come to me in Mentored Prep, will start with, okay, if I need to do something to an object, I'm going to iterate over it. And to be honest, chances are you don't need to. There are very specific circumstances where we need to iterate over an object, and uh, if we know the name of the key for a property, we do not need to iterate. Uh, the times when we need to iterate are usually if we want to look at all of an object's properties, or check all of the values, and those will be the cases where iteration using a foreign loop is going to be most useful. So with that in mind, we are going to complete a function that takes one parameter, an object of properties, and logs all of its keys, one at a time, to the console. Your function should use a for in loop to log each key in the object, then return nothing. Do not use object.keys in your solution, which, if you are following the operators and methods section, you saw that we have access to something called object.keys, which will give us an array of the keys in an object, and we could then use a for loop to iterate over that. But since we're practicing for in loops, let's not do that. Um, and it just occurred to me that there was something I was supposed to do to the tests for this. I think I did it, but if I didn't, well, we'll find out in a moment. Essentially what you have to do is you have to capture the console.log function with a temporary function that adds it to an output string that you check, but you have to reassign the console.log back to what it originally was afterwards or else the tests don't output correctly. So if I didn't do that, we might get an error, but if I did, then we won't see anything. In any case, create a, full, create a loop which iterates over the input object. So for variable whatever in object. and log the current key to the uh, console. So just to help ourselves out, I'm going to call this current key. Again, it doesn't matter what you call it, but if you have a situation where calling it something specific can help you, then I would advise you to do so. In this case, calling it current key helps us log the current key to the console because we'll just log current key. So if we run this, we should get ABC, make model in year, and we do. So let's take our newly completed function, bring it back over to our input window, run the tests, and I definitely forgot to change the test for this one. So I'm going to go do that, but I'm going to end this video here because this is the exact correct answer. Uh, you can change the variable name here to whatever you'd like, but I would advise calling it key, current key, or if you feel fancy, you can call it whatever you want. It does have to be a valid variable name, so I couldn't put like a space there or else it's going to interpret that. Provided that you call it something here and maintain that same calling, you'll be in good shape. So. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.